Now, what is EM and IR analysis? Starting with the EM analysis, it stands for electromigration, and that refers to the unwanted movement of materials in a semiconductor. If the current density is high enough, there can be momentum transfer from moving electrons to the metal ions that make up the lattice of the interconnect material. The ions will drift in the direction of the electron flow. The result is a gradual displacement of metal atoms in a semiconductor, potentially causing open and short circuits. Here is a typical picture where we have a metal one, and that gets branched into a couple of other metals. Higher metals, metal two and metal three over here. You could see that the half a milliampere is traveling over the metal one that ultimately gets divided into three fingers. 0.15 milliamperes in a couple of fingers and 0.2 milliamperes on the other one. There is a heavy chance of the EM happening on the metal one where the higher current is passing through. Moving on to the next one, what is IR drop analysis? The power supply in the chip is distributed uniformly through metal layers across a design. Basically, power supply includes both power as well as ground. Generally goes with the names like VDD or VSS. These metal layers have a finite amount of resistance and when the voltage is applied to these metal wires, current starts flowing through the metal layers and some voltage gets dropped due to that resistance of the metal wires and current. This drop is generally known as IR drop. To make sure that the IR drop and the EM electromigration effects don't cause much violations to the design, you need to have the EM IR analysis to happen. Let's see what tools does Cadence provide to have an effective EM IR analysis. EM and IR challenges in the advanced nodes. What can go on when the metal atoms drift away from their intended positions? That is generally known as electromigration or EM. One possible issue is that it could lead to open circuits due to the voids in the wires or vias. Another possibility is that it could lead to short circuits due to the extrusions or what is generally known as hillix that happens on the wires due to EM again. Either of these can cause system failure and that is often very hard to diagnose. In case of the voids, the wires gets thinner, and the resistance would increase, and that would demand for more current, and that in turn will result in higher current densities, as well. Advanced devices like FinFETs have got more current density than the planar transistors, and that would make the EM issues more worsen. EM is also directly proportional to the temperature ingredients. When it comes to advanced nodes, EM is not just limited to the power, ground or the critical clock wires, but it impacts the signal wires, as well. That is generally known as a DC power EM, or the AC signal EM. How do you fix EM issues? EM fixing, also needs to be timing driven. M mitigation techniques, like the widening of wires, can increase the area, as well as it can lead to timing violations. Coming to the next issue, that is IR drop. IR drop, is a signal integrity effect, caused by the voltage drop due to the resistance and the current drawn from the power and the ground grids. The name is derived from the Ohm's law, which defines voltage as the product of the current and the resistance on a net. An unacceptable voltage drop due to the higher than predicted resistance and the current passing through a particular metal layer is generally defined as IR drop. What does it impact? Due to this reason, the intended power is not reaching to the cells. That would lead to increased noise susceptibility and poor performance of the circuit. How does IR drop impact timing? As the voltage or the intended voltage doesn't reach the device gate nodes, the gate delays are increased nonlinearly and that would ultimately lead to setup and hold time violations. That is, as the power supply voltage decreases during the critical stages, like clock tree synthesis, buffers and inverters are added along the clock path to balance the skew. When the voltage drop happens on these buffers and inverters of this clock path, that will lead to delay in the arrival of clock signal, directly resulting in hold violation cases. These are the impacts, or the challenges caused by the EMIR issues, in the advanced nodes.